I actually had to look up whether or not children could be nominated for Oscars because I was really surprised to see that Saoirse Ronan hadn't been nominated for the Best Actress Oscar for The Lovely Bones. Her performance in this is phenomenal and the film itself is absolutely brilliant. It was released originally in 2009 and I saw it quite a bit later actually because I just read the book maybe a year before this came out. I'm not entirely sure when the book itself was released. But the book is gripping. And I will say this film stays quite true to the story. So if you've read the book and you're looking for a close adaptation, definitely you're you're um, in safe territory here. If you are not aware of what this film is about, I'll quickly summarise. Directed by Peter Jackson, written by Fran Walsh, um, and also Philippa Boyens did some of the screenplays. And it's about a young girl who is murdered. That's not a spoiler. She's murdered instantly, basically. It's very quick. Um, but we do get to see how she's lured in by this predator. Bearing in mind, she, I don't know how old Susie Salmon actually is in this, but she's certainly under 16. She's definitely a very young teenager, I believe. And she's lured into this really interesting location. And I don't want to spoil it by telling you what it is. But those scenes in the film are spectacular. The set design for that is amazing. And it's just... If for all the right reasons, beautiful to watch, but it's also very gripping and very chilling. She is murdered and from being dead, she watches over her family and also her killer and tries to lead people to the right person to so they can find out what actually happened to her and where is she because to begin with, she's obviously she's just a missing person. But she also needs to let her family have time to heal and grieve and she's obviously, you know, She's quite angry about what's happened, understandably. And she's got a very interesting character. Normally, in a film, when somebody dies and then they're either narrating it or they're still a main character, they're usually quite reserved, quite quiet. Instantly, they become angelic, almost. Not the case here. Susie Salmon retains the qualities of who we know she is when we learn about her at the beginning of the film. She also reacts... The way anybody would react, let's say hypothetically she'd been attempted murdered, but she escaped. This is how she would, I would imagine she would react if she'd survived. So I think it's very true. The characteristics and the character development are just spot on. Saoirse Ronan's performance as Susie Salmon is absolutely amazing. This is not an easy role for anybody to play. But for her, I think she would have been 14 maybe at the time of filming, give or take absolutely phenomenal the costume incredible Susie Salmon has this iconic yellow outfit and I just think the costume design is absolutely perfect and just brilliant really really fantastic costume design is by Nancy Steiner and while it's in my head I also forgot to mention that the book is written by Alice Siebold it's absolutely incredible. I obviously because I'd read the book, I knew what happened. Um, I knew how things would develop. The fact that it's set in the seventies gives us some really beautiful aesthetic scenery. Seeing what the afterlife is like for Susie is really well envisioned and something that I really enjoy seeing on the screen. I can't fault it in the slightest. I absolutely cannot fault it. It is a beautiful, beautiful film. It's 6.7 out of 10 on IMDb, a Metascore of 42, which I think is a bit disgustingly low, to be perfectly honest. But it takes this really difficult story and turns it into something that is compelling, gripping, for the right reasons entertaining. Cannot take my eyes away when I'm watching this. It's it's chilling. It is chilling. Um, it's kind of a thriller, but it's softer than a thriller it's emotive more than it is scary although there are points where it's really intense you can feel that something's about to happen and your blood will curdle and your toes will curl and you just know what's going to happen and it's hard to watch but it's brilliant if you haven't seen it give it a watch this is one of the films that i would say you have to see before you die it is amazing